I want to play you something. I want to play you a tape of the an extraordinary tape of the collected insults of the key designer of the voice, Labor's planned Aboriginal only parliament. I read today some expert on referenda saying, well, look, the vote, voting the votes, uh, the vote on the voice later this year, it's going to fail. We will say no to it. But I don't know if it's right, but I did that is, explain something. People pushing Labor's voice have suddenly dropped the mask about this being a kind and gracious offer and, uh, you know, we're all going to be reconciled and they're back to abuse. We're all racist if we say no. Just today, for instance, Thomas Mayo, his... Uh, on the Working Committee advising the Prime Minister on The Voice, identifies as Aboriginal, accused two prominent white lawyers advising that committee, Frank Brennan and Greg Craven, of just trying to get publicity by warning that this model they're working on is too radical. He said they were just, oh, white saviours. I mean, racist little slur there. And it makes me wonder, if, you know, if people pushing the uh, voice smear even their own, don't trust them to unite Australia once we get this voice lecturing us all. And you've got to ask if that really was their aim. And I don't think it was. Because Marsha Langton. She's one of the two authors of the blueprint for The Voice that the Albanese government is working off. She's the chief designer of The Voice, you might say. Now, I know Marsha Langton. I've talked to Marsha Langton. And Marsha Langton does not unite people. She divides. I mean, look for a start at all the people she's accused of racism in the past. Left and right, doesn't save you. Environmentalist Tim Flannery was accused. Labor lawyer Josh Bornstein. Uh, leftist Professor Boris Frankel. This woman takes no prisoners. Leftist journalism academic Wendy Bacon. Feminist Jermaine Greer was accused of being racist. Leftist Professor Larissa Behrendt, even being Aboriginal, didn't save her. Former Prime Minister John Howard, historian Geoffrey Partington and more. She's also called me a racist on ABC TV, although it later admitted to me and to Steve Price on our radio show, I wasn't after all. Now, what's inspiring Langton, it seems to me, is not this fluffy idea that Albanese is selling us that the voice is going to bring us together, all be warm fuzzies. No. What seems to be inspiring Langton is the idea that you're racist and your neighbour's racist, the whole country's racist, history is racist, 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 racist. And to prove it, here are just some of the rants of this architect of the voice, Marsha Langton. So in Australia, what we see is um, racism expressed um, most commonly as a kind of um, white racism against um, people of colour, the hatred of Aboriginal people. Utterly horrible abuses of, of Aboriginal people and whole populations for more than 200 years. Concepts of race are fundamental to Australian polity and civic life. Racial theories and eugenesis, eugenicism were major intellectual exports of Australia. This filth is in our parliament. We need to stop the lying. Do not kill Aborigines. How hard is that? The racism towards Aboriginal people is something more than racism. The whole of Australia needs to be re-educated. Yes, you all need to be re-educated. Do you think the voice designed by that woman is really about bringing Australians together?